In Pikmin 1, Olimar crashes his ship and must find all 30 parts to escape. There are 5 optional parts in game, where if you hit the 30 day limit and still don't have them, Olimar will still escape the planet and you'll technically win. However, the legitimacy of those 25 pieces is questionable. A lot of Olimar's descriptions give off the impression that maybe some of these shouldn't be necessary. Which is why we're doing a tier list to rank every part on its actual necessity. Our tiers are absolutely necessary to escape, could be dangerous to go without, doubt these are important, and forget them, you don't need them. The very first ship part you get is the main engine. Olimar notes that it's a stroke of pure luck that he found this piece first, as he can't take off without it. Seems pretty important to me, that's gonna be A tier. While we're here, the positron generator is a piece that you find when coming back to the impact site. Olimar is most excited to use it as a microwave, but also states it can generate an excessive amount of energy, which sounds pretty vital. A tier as well. Right outside of the landing site in the Forest of Hope, you'll find the Eternal Fuel Dynamo. This part has the capability to produce infinite amounts of energy, but I'm already seeing a conflict here, as the positron generator also produces energy. I'm going to chalk this up to poor ship design and assume they're both equally required. A tier. The Whimsical Radar is the only piece that actually benefits the player, as it allows you to use your radar to find other pieces. Surely flying with a radar would be helpful, but he can see out of the cockpit of the dolphin. He seems to have other methods of navigation on board, but this could potentially be important. C tier. The Shock Absorber does what it says on the tin. It makes flight smoother, though I'm not exactly sure what shock it absorbs. Certainly not this one. The way Alomar talks about it makes it sound vaguely important, though I think it's safe to make it D tier, and our first part Alomar shouldn't need. The Nova Blaster is our first part that's definitely not required, as the game lets you win without it. It is an incredibly powerful weapon, which is useful, but the instruction manual notes that the route he was taking is usually safe, so it's unlikely he would need it provided he's paying attention to the road. F tier. Behind this incredibly annoying wall lies the Extraordinary Bolt, which, contrary to the name, actually serves no function whatsoever. Alomar got scammed into buying some magic beans in spaceship part form, so it's completely useless. F tier. A Geiger counter is used to measure radiation, which is unfortunate, because Alomar mentions it often goes wild and lets out a lot of noise. While it is technically useful, it's only as useful as the information it conveys, and if Alomar doesn't know what it means, it's not doing him any favors. F tier. One of the more obvious ones is the radiation canopy. This shields Alomar from harmful radiation, while also covering the cockpit of his ship. I know he's got the suit, but I can't imagine flying a convertible is very good for long distance. A tier. The Sagittarius and the Libra are both decorative pieces, as they are gifts from Alomar's son and daughter respectively. I guess maybe Alomar would die from a broken heart when his kids and wife disown him for losing these, but aside from that, these are going to be F tier. Finally on to the Forest Naval, we'll start with the Space Flow. The Breadbugs got it, so I always make sure to get Blue Pikmin, watch both cutscenes, damage the Breadbug once, encourage him to grab a pellet, then put two reds or yellows on. That way it'll be waiting at the ship for you. Also, it's a space life raft that's ability is to make you float in space and it isn't required to win F tier. The automatic gear is a pretty cut and dry one. As Alomar says it, makes piloting much easier, allowing him to focus on smaller things, i.e. he can fly fine without it. It's like driving automatic instead of manual. I'm gonna say D tier because Alomar is a bad enough pilot to fly into the only rock in space, so maybe he needs that bit of assistance. Next is the big spring that goes when you drop it. The gravity jumper's function is to achieve super light speed, which is obviously a necessary component to space travel, so A tier. The next part is a little cursed. The analog computer is said to strengthen the outward emotions of the ship's computer. It's also said to make the computer smarter, but I really don't want it to have emotions for some reason. I'm gonna put it in D tier because it seems potentially important, but also very stupid and bad. We're halfway through! So far it's looking like Alomar could get by with potentially less than half his ship, but we'll have to see the final tally. The antidioxin filter is a no-brainer. The described function of this part is to filter the ship's exhaust, preventing atmosphere contamination. But more importantly to this list, it's part of the ship's hull. I don't know if you know this, but spaceships have to be airtight or bad things will happen. Maybe the world of Pikmin is built different, but I'm going to say this is important. A tier. Okay, so when I was little, I always thought this next part was like a red onion slice. Don't ask me why I didn't think of an apple at least, I just don't know. Anyways, that's not what it is, it's one of the ship's fins. It's meant to help the ship fly straight, but Alomar also mentions directly that this piece is essential for his escape, so A tier. The guard satellite is an important sounding piece, but Alomar's here, so clearly it can't be that good at his job. That job being, protect the ship from danger. He says it's worked for him in the past many times, even protecting him from space pirates. 
I guess the mere fact that it failing to work this one time caused the crash would imply that it's a pretty important part, but it's not technically necessary for the flight itself, so it's a C tier. Next are Ionium Jets 1 and 2, and it's reasonable to assume they are both essential, as their jets help propel the ship and presumably adjust its trajectory. That's two A tiers right there. Now that we're onto the distant spring, we're in the final stretch. First is the repair type bolt, which is said to be able to fix anything. Now on paper this doesn't seem necessary, as if Olimar can just not break anything important, he wouldn't really need this. However, I'd be willing to bet a lot of these parts aren't functioning properly after Olimar yeeted his ship straight into the earth, so I'm going to say A tier. Next up is the massage machine. It's a massage chair, what do you think? F tier. Following that is the interstellar radio, which emits a constant SOS signal, and is also a radio. When collecting this part, Alomar even mentions that he doesn't need every part, but the game still considers it necessary. I don't. F tier. The largest part in the game, the gluon drive, is another piece of the hull, and while Alomar doesn't exactly know what it does, he says it makes the dolphin lift off with its charismatic roar, so I'm just gonna assume it's probably important and put it in A tier. Next is the UV lamp. Alomar uses it to tan. F tier. The zirconium rotor looks important, and it is! It serves a function similar to the repair type bolt, as it's able to create spaceship parts. I'm gonna assume this busted ship needs it. A tier. Another one of the more blatantly unnecessary parts in the game is the pilot seat. It makes Olimar's butt not hurt. He didn't seem to need it every night before this, so F tier. The Kronos reactor is a super necessary part, as it does some sci-fi stuff to turn space into energy. It also looks super cool, so yeah, A tier. For the icing on top of the ship cake, we have the bowsprit. I'm actually kinda torn on this one. It's clearly a part of the hull, which would imply importance, but Olimar just says it gives the ship its sleek shape. For the sake of consistency, I'm gonna say the ship would explosively decompress without this part here, and say A tier. The final part is honestly Olimar's biggest crime. It's always the last part you get, and is completely unnecessary to his survival, but he'll still charge into the final boss for it, leaving many Pikmin on the way. It's the secret safe, and has all of Olimar's money in it. In the context of Pikmin 1, this is kind of selfish, but then you remember Pikmin 2 is exclusively about making money, so comparatively it's not as bad. F tier, obviously. So here we are. As expected, it seems like maybe Alomar didn't need everything. In fact, to escape the planet's atmosphere, he didn't even need half of the pieces of his ship. 14 out of the 25 required parts are actually necessary, with an additional two that could pose a reasonable risk to travel without. Now Alomar can finally take off in style with his half-finished ship. Uh, oh. Whoops.